There he goes again, making another drama once again. I'm sure you all know by the name of Steamed Bun X, who's a well-known master faker baiter, delusional cloud chaser with its buns and brains completely dried out due to lack of brain juice and hormones to the point that he's become unhinged and unreliable to every statement or post that this guy has made. He's also the one behind the misinformation on Reddit about Career Games layoff interns with just a bunch of screenshots full of threads of conjectures and hypotheses without any proof that it actually happens to the point that he's clowning himself to the most stupidest thing beyond unimaginable. Recently, I saw this tweet coming from him with an image of the following content creators and streamers instigating a drama stating that these content creators got paid by Kuro Games. To praise it in which that's not entirely true because Kuro Games CEO Solon during TDW 2024 interview stated the following principle when they developed these types of games. Love yourself, love your game, and love your players. That's pretty much it. And it had nothing to do with monetization ever since then. Even if they earn millions of revenue by just releasing a new character like Yin Lin, for example, for them, that considers as a big achievement in business standpoint. Another thing he added in relates to getting paid by Kuro is that he implies of models of VTubing that these content creators used were expensive to make. I mean, it depends though, with the rigs, outfit designs, and physics. And he added in images showing the difference between the old ones and the new ones. Except Mujin, because he already announced his own VTuber model 7 months ago, which is January, and then 30 days later after that announcement, he got his own model. So saying that Mujin got paid by Kuro Games, that's why he got an expensive model, you need some serious help, Steam Bun. You've become irrelevant as I keep running this bullshit. One, he's already big since last year, after he made content that relates to Genshin community map videos. Those videos are enough to accommodate his own VTuber model and other necessities too. And Kuro Games during that time, they're still under development and had to revamp some concerns the players have encountered after their second closed beta, and their finances is in dire situation. So the possibility of getting paid by Kuro Games in this scenario is zero. And Hexjuice came in and already made a tweet to counter argument this tweet from Steamed Bun X, so you could say she got his ass kicked for good. Maybe Steamed Bun got jealous because he doesn't have his own VTuber model. Well, except for this one, which is a copy of Inviosity Slime model. If I would be in that situation, I would say just work hard, get good at it, or get a job or something. Or maybe continue your work as a guide maker. And if you want to make your own model without commissioning, there's a Vroid on Steam. There's live 2D software on the internet. There's VTube software on Steam. Why not make one? I already made one and there's already a thumbnail of my latest video. Well, whatever the case. Hope he has a better future and probably gonna get a grip himself together, which I highly doubt that's ever gonna happen. Alright, moving on. Oh boy. Well, that might be the longest comment I've seen so far, but given by how tiny the letter was, looks like I got ourselves a Hoyer shell, and uh, yeah, I might need some glasses because of how poor his credibility was in terms of writing, specifically this user right here and recently made a tweet in relates to that for added context before his account got suspended, but then again, I don't think you may be able to recover from that, buddy. And I don't think that's gonna help to clear your name. You should have kept that yourself far with you rather than instigating a drama like a cloud chaser. Let Gigok have fun playing any games he'd like to try. There is nothing wrong on playing a new game that has the same predatory marketing business just like what other gacha games did. And yes, we are fully aware of the bugs during initial launch of Wuthering Waves, but at the very least, they already addressed it. I would also say Genshin also had a bad launch too. Yet, that doesn't mean both games are bad and at the end is still bad. Well, not sure about Genshin though. With the boycott stuff, yep, we all see that coming. And at the end of it, still a total failure. You should've just quit the game and uninstall it. Yet you remain steadfast and unwilling to let go because of your spending would end up a complete waste. And that's not the game's problem, it's a you problem. Do better, would you? Next. So, I saw this video from Ryoko Sensei, recently uploaded the video in relates to Watering Waves 1.2 optimization preview and some drip marketing like Yoho and the Shore Keeper that will be arriving on version 1.3. He discussed about the lack of 4-star resonators in the game and he also shared his opinions 
about Zezi and Shang Liao's overall design in which he's entitled to an open to have his own opinions. And also two new five stars, one of them being uh, Zezi here, who is a cute little painter. Pretty cute, I like her design, it's fine. And also this uh, Zhang Li Yao, and this character here is actually a completely free five star character, which is again pretty cool, but the problem for me is that I feel there's really big scarcity for four, st four stars in Wooden Waves, and if I'm honest, these two designs here don't really scream five star quality to me. So I would have been happy if they were just four stars, to be honest. I actually got a bit of a backlash for that opinion on Twitter, with some people saying that they basically don't want any new four stars because they want their characters that they want to be guaranteed five stars. Seriously, people on Twitter are fing. And I do agree on his statement. And I would say that Punishing Ray Raven also had that kind of niche too. Yet he was glad that there is an upcoming 4 star Wooden Waves and to his surprise, well... But speaking of 4 star, they finally did release one and yeah, nah, I'm good. Not interested at all. Not that I'm not interested in having new 4 stars, I literally just said that I want more 4 stars in the game. It's just that I don't really like her design, it's just not for me. It was always weird to see characters that look like this, that they're barely out of elementary school in this post-apocalyptic world, fighting for their lives in, in the, the wilderness. Uh, they just don't really fit with the vibe of the world in my opinion. Besides, I don't really think games like these should really have playable characters with models like that in the first place. As I said on Twitter, my problem isn't with the character or their design, it's not really, again, it's not my thing, but and that isn't really the main problem. The problem is all the weirdos that come out of the woodworks that start talking about them in some really weird and disturbing ways. We saw a little bit of that in my uh, video about Azura Pamilia. But what kind of weirdos am I talking about? I mean the kinds of people that would go out of their way to attack me in all sorts of ways just because I said that I'm not really interested in her. Oh surely, that's a bit of a stretch. No one would actually- What the hell is wrong with you? If you don't like it, just skip her. You don't have to tell anyone, I don't fuck with this character, blah 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 blah. There won't be a game that doesn't have something you don't like. If you don't care about her, why are you posting it? <sighs> Seriously, some of you all need to go outside and touch some fucking grass. Gotta be honest. A playable character who's a 4 star and had a childlike model in a post-apocalyptic world struggling to survive can sometimes add some depth to the story of the game. As what Chalova stated in which I do totally agree. But when it comes to business standpoints, it's part of the marketing to garner a certain audience to have some sort of attention in order for the game to be discussed and made some new materials for content, regardless of their perspectives. And I had to say the same thing on other gacha games too. like. Klee, Diona, Nahida, Chi Chi, Yao Yao, Dori, and Ian San on Genshin that has the childlike physic models too. Same goes to Blue Archive, Round Dust 2, Tower of Fantasy, Honkai Impact 3rd, Honkai Star Rail, Fate Grand Order, and so on. But at the end of the day, they're just the fictional characters, and I'm gonna say this again. Gotta set the boundaries on what is real and what is not. And I don't mind playing those games, especially Blue Archive, but would that make me a lolicon? It depends. But again, they're fictional characters, and it must not compare nor make any actions to real-life situations. Also, where can I find the Hida body pillow? 